Hi, this is Sunil and welcome to the video tutorial for the learning lad on C++ programming. So in the last tutorial we have learned you know what is a binary file and also how to write and read from the binary file character by character. So in this tutorial I'm gonna show you something more that we can do with the binary files. So I'm gonna show you how to write a block of data to the binary file and also how to read that block of data. And also I'm gonna show you how to store the entire object into a file and how to read that object from that file. All right, let's get started. So here in this tutorial, we're gonna use the functions like read and write. So this read is used to read a block of data from the file. So here as a syntax, first we need to specify the location where we want to save the read it data from the file and here we just need to specify you know the number of bytes and this write is used to write a block of data to the binary file and here you know this buffer contains the data that we want to write and this stream size specifies the number of bytes that we want to write so if it, if it is confusing you know the syntax don't worry you know when we use this in our example it's gonna be clear all right now let's get started so the first thing that we can do in this tutorial is we're gonna build a class so in our examples normally we have used the person class and uh, here also i'm gonna use that so the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna include our C string header file, you know, so that we can uh, use the functions such as uh, strcpy and strlen. So it's gonna be hash include, and it's gonna be C string. All right. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna build our class, and let's say class person, and we're gonna have two private members so we can have a character array and let's call it as name and let's set the size to 80 you know which is used to store the name and then we can have int age and then we can have the public access specifier so it's going to be public and then here we can have a constructor you know which is not going to take any parameters and it's going to initialize these two members so it's going to be the same name as the class name and here we're gonna use strcpy to initialize our name so it's gonna be name and we're gonna initialize this one to no name and then i'm gonna set age to a value of zero all right then we're gonna have another constructor you know which is gonna take two parameters and it's gonna initialize these two members with that parameters so i'm gonna copy this constructor and paste it in the next line and uh, I'm gonna change this one to take the character array or a character stream so it's gonna be a pointer to the character array and then we're gonna have a int age so here I'm gonna use the this pointer to differentiate the name collision between this member name and this local pointer name so it's gonna be this and then the arrow operator name and here also i'm going to use this arrow operator and then h all right then what we're going to do is we're going to build a method you know which is going to print out the values stored in this members name and age and let's call it as void who are you and this method is not going to take any parameters and here you know when we call this method we want to print out this name and age so I'm gonna use C out and I just gonna insert some string let's say hi um, and I'm gonna use name and then I'm gonna insert some string and I am and it's gonna be age years old all right let's end this line okay now the next thing that we're gonna do is in our main function we're gonna create an object of this class person so it's gonna be person and let's say anil and we need to pass two parameters let's say anil you know the name and then the age 24 all right the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna create a binary file or open a binary file so that we can write to that file so i'm gonna use an object of this yfstream class 
so that I can read and write to that file. So it's gonna be your stream and let's call it as file. You know, you guys can give any name you want. And, and then here I'm gonna pass the file name. Let's say, since we are working with this person class, let's say person and let's add the extension as bin no just the extension and then we need to specify that we want to work with a binary file so it's going to be ios then the binary and then i'm going to use the r operator to add more file opening modes and we want to open this file so that we can read from it so it's going to be in and then we want to write to that file so it's going to be out and also if the file specified here is not present then we want to create a new file and if that file is present every time we run this program we want to work with an empty file that's why i'm going to use ios and trunk all right the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to check whether the file has successfully opened or not so i'm going to use if and not file dot is open if the file has not opened successfully then we're gonna print out to the user that error while opening the file error while opening the file else you know if the file has opened successfully then we want to write a block of data to that file so here in this tutorial we want to write the object of this class person so I'm going to use the right method, you know, which I have explained before. So it's going to be file dot write. And here, you know, this write method is going to take a buffer, you know, of type characters. Here we have the object of this class person. So what we can do is we can cast it to char. So I'm going to use parentheses to group it and it's going to be char star. And then I'm going to pass the reference of this anil and then we need to specify how many bytes that we want to write to that file we want to write the size of this object anil or the size of this class person so i'm going to use the size of operator and it's gonna be person all right and then you know all of us know that the object of this class yfstream maintains get and put pointers you know, which specifies where exactly the next read and write operation has to take place and you know when we write to the file that get and put position indicators are gonna be in the end so if you want to read from this file from the beginning then you guys need to set that file position indicators to the beginning and to do that we're gonna use the seek g method you know which i have explained in the tutorial about the get and put position indicators so here we're gonna pass the value of zero you know which means that we want to read from the beginning and the next thing is you know we want to read from that file you know a block of data and we want to save that in an object of this class person so that's why i'm gonna create another object and let's say anjali and then we're gonna use the read method and we're gonna read from the file and we're gonna store that readed block of data in this Anjali object. So it's gonna be file dot read and also first we need to specify where exactly we want to store the readed block of data. So we want to store that in this object Anjali and this read method takes a character buffer. So here we're gonna cast this Anjali to the char type. So it's gonna be char star and i'm gonna pass the reference anjali and then we need to specify how many bytes we want to read in one read operation we want to read the size of this class person or the size of this object anjali so it's gonna be size of and then it's gonna be person all right the next thing that uh, we're gonna do is we're gonna call this who are you meta so I'm going to use the object anil first. So it's going to be anil dot who are you and then anjali dot who are you. You know, these both objects are going to 
contain the same data but you know different different copies and uh, i'm gonna save this i'm gonna build and run this okay we have an error okay i misspelled it it should be c string and build and run it again all right now you guys can see it says hi i'm no name and i'm zero years old hi i'm no name and i'm zero years old okay that's because here in the second constructor you know we haven't changed this one to name so we need to change this one to name and here we need to change this one to age and uh, i'm just gonna build and run this you know just a simple mistake and now you guys can see hi i'm anil and i'm 24 years old hi i'm anil and i'm 24 years old so now i'm gonna open up the location or the folder where i have saved this project and i'm gonna open up this person file you know the file which we have created and now you guys can see you know it has the contents in the binary form that we can't read you know only the computer can understand this so now you guys may ask like okay how the heck i can say that you know this anil and anjali are containing different copies of data they may containing the same copy and they they might be having the reference to that so just to demonstrate that what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna create a method in our class person and let's call it as change and here we're just gonna change this uh, name to name and age so i'm gonna copy this and paste it here and i'm gonna change this name to let's say xxxx and age to 100 or 1000 whatever it is and then here i'm gonna call this anil.change and then we're gonna call anil.who are you and anjali.who are you you know if they are sharing the reference then the change should be um, reflected in both of these objects and also you know we need to close this file you know when we have done with it so i just forgotten to do that so um, here i'm gonna write file dot close and then i'm gonna build and run this and now you guys can see hi i'm anil and i'm 24 years old two times and then hi i'm xxx and i'm thousand years old and that's from this anil dot who are you you know you know because of this change method and then you know this anjali dot who are you says hi i'm anil and i'm 24 years old so it means that you know they are not sharing the same copy they are sharing the different copies of data so it also means that you know we have successfully returned this object anil to the file so this is it guys this is how you guys can write a block of data to a file using the write method and read a block of data using the read method and also this is how you guys can save an object to a file and read an object from the file so thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in the next tutorial